Hi everyone and welcome to this bonus love reading. We don't actually know which star sign it's for at the moment because Spirit has guided me to select a star sign from these cards. I've got all the star signs on them. Um, so I'm going to shuffle them first of all. So you can see they're all jumbled. Okay. Then lay them all out. Okay, Spirit, which one do you want me to take? Okay, this one has some energy. So we got Sagittarius, it's your lucky day. Sagittarius. Um, so this reading is for you. Okay Sagittarius, so we're going to look at your energy first of all, then we'll look at your person's energy. Um, this could be someone on your mind, you're in separation, or someone who's in your life right now, wondering what's going on, whatever relates to you. So, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Okay. I'm getting a very strong connection here, soul connection, potentially twin flames with these two. We've got the Empress, Divine Feminine. Could be you, could be the person on your mind. You are longing for this union, I feel. It's someone you hold close in your heart. You've never let them go. I'm strongly getting a separation here. You're not in contact this person and some of you recently might have been very emotional thinking about what you've lost in love focused on what went wrong but spirit saying you've got this blessed future ahead of you two cups there still standing so there's still love here between you and this person but it's slow moving energy. For this is your person, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, potentially. Slow and steady wins the race. You know, I'm feeling your person's been through, or they're going through something right now. You might even be, even be picking up on their energy. They could be going through a loss of some sort whatever that pertains to. Um, also got Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I'm also getting in your energy a very empowered feminine. So if you're the Divine Feminine, this is you. Um, the Empress and this is the Minor Empress. Very focused. Um, in touch with yourself, in touch with spirit. Birds could be your spirit animal. Okay, a very loving energy though coming out for a lot of you. Let's see your person now, the person in your mind.
Okay, a lot of major arcana have come out. We've got three there. So it's interesting, I said you might be feeling their energy. Because we've got the Ten of Wands, quite a heavy energy here, quite burdened by their current situation. Could be a relationship or their work. Um, I feel your person though is thinking about moving, moving home. And they're manifesting this with the magician. So they could be into the law of attraction. They know how to manifest what they desire. They could have been very stressed though, um, physically burdened. And I'm, I'm really feeling you might have been picking up on that. We've got two tens. So there's a completion of a cycle for both of you at the moment. It's mirroring here. There are things happening behind the scenes. Um, your person has been, I'm really getting fear. Wow, just came through my energy there. And this card shows that. So that's strongly coming through this fear your person has in terms of making a change here. They're trying to have hope, they're trying to heal. Wow, and I'm getting guilt coming through here as well. I feel at night, maybe in their dreams, they heal. Maybe both of you have been healing in your dreams. Um, yeah, in the 5D, actually, with all these major arcana. So your person's going through a shift here. Um, we've got Gemini, Virgo, Pisces, Aquarius, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Um, anything more on the Ten of Wands? Wow, two pages. So they could have children. Could be a family here. I'm picking up a relationship. Um, but if it's if it's not a family, it could be that they're they've got a lot on. They're learning. It could be you know it could be at school. This person has communication issues. I'm suddenly struggling here to communicate. Um, yeah, there's a change they're trying to make in their life. A new start. Which is coming through with the magician. Let's see about this Queen of Pentacles. I'm feeling that's a karmic energy. Work, relationship or family member, person. Yeah, see, we've got three energies that have come out there. Third party, some of you may be aware of, but we've got the world, so that's coming to an end. End of a chapter there. We've also got three, three, three in this reading. You might be seeing triple numbers like that, the signs. Always look them up. I'm feeling that's a sign. Um, for a lot of you about your mission with this person potentially let's see what they're trying to manifest A lot of cups have come out here, so a lot of emotions. Wow, now this is interesting, the repeat card, five of cups. So there's mirroring here. They're trying to, they want to release what went wrong. 
this can also show an ending, you know, a loss of a relationship, which I feel is happening here. Um, and remember I said you might be feeling this energy from your person if that's not you, you know, your energy. Then your person wants to come in with an apology, put things right, express how they feel. Because I was feeling guilt come through from your person. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces there. A lot of pages though, so I'm feeling this person could be a bit immature, emotionally immature. I was feeling issues with communicating. Yeah, they're going to ride in with a lot of passion back into your life. So I do feel this is someone returning. Um, Knight of Wands, though, doesn't always stick around. And with these pages, I'm, I'm feeling they may show their face and then kind of pull back a bit. So that's why you need to be in this Empress energy boundaries in place, knowing what you deserve. Anything else on this Knight of Wands? Two of Wands. So this does show a potential new partnership for you and this person. Um, this is someone very focused. Notice they're turning their back on other things in their life. They're holding this world knowing they can manifest. She came out with a magician. Um, and draw in what they desire, whatever that may be. But there's a lot of passion this person has for you. So we've got the wand there, very masculine energy coming through. So I feel this is potentially the divine masculine. Feel free to flip the energies. Wow. Four of Wands, twin flame energy, which I was really feeling, 1111. So you might be seeing that number, a sign of manifestation. But yeah, see, here's that energy. I'm feeling it could be fear your person feels. Um, they may sort of want to sneak away. Be a bit unsure. Or this could be their past energy. They sneaked away from this connection with you. You've always known how strong this connection is. Let's get one more on the Seven of Swords. I'm feeling this is actually more strategy. Yeah. With the King of Cups. It, it's them strategizing um, how to manifest this connection with you. We've now got the King and Queen of Cups. Beautiful, loving couple here. Coming together. This person opening up. Going from, yeah, from the page to the king. So I feel the Knight of Wands, Seven of Swords, as I said, could be a bit of reluctance from them in terms of opening up, in terms of how to do it. But they think this through. They come charging in. They want to heal things with you. They move on from this third party. Okay, going to finish with a Whispers of Love message. I'm actually, yeah, really getting nervous energy for this person, so I feel that's what it is. But they are trying to manifest. 
this connection with you. Okay, they want me to show you it's bottom of the deck, be willing to express love. And we've, you know, we had the, obviously the King of Cups. So I feel that's guidance for your person, but also for you, express love to receive love. So if it's reciprocal, you know, then this could really work. We've got get to know each other. So this is potential for some of you. Um, for some of you, you've not met in this lifetime but you're going to feel like you've met them and you're going to start getting to know each other. And for some of you, it never really got off the ground in the past. You never really got to know each other, but you're going to do that when you hook up this time. Let's say we've got 44, double number there. You might see that number. Take a chance on love. So I feel... This is what spirit's guiding your person to do, because there is a bit of reluctance there, nervousness that came through. Um, and maybe for you as well, you know, if you're unsure, you're being guided to take a chance, because you've got this beautiful potential ahead of you. See, so both of you in a ship, and there's a ship here. So you might both move together or travel you might just say, let's go travelling, um, or travel, they're also telling me, for some of you, it's travelling for your mission work, something quite important that you do, you share with, with the world. Okay, beautiful Sagittarius, so I hope you enjoyed this bonus reading, please do comment if, it, if it's... Um, if it resonates, you know, claim it if it's yours. Like, share and subscribe. Thank you so much for your support on my channel. Sending peace, love and light to you all.